The I-PACE is Jaguar's only electric vehicle, and when it was introduced for the 2019 model year, it was one of the first all-electric luxury SUVs to hit the market. When we tested it, it was a compelling electric vehicle with a luxurious interior, a lot of technology, and enough power to reach 60 miles per hour from a stop in 4.5 seconds. The Jaguar I-PACE's low-slung design not only gives it a distinctive appearance, but it also provides an engaging driving experience. Additionally, the electric Jag offers a comfortable ride and ample passenger space. Alexa is a voice command system that can be used for a variety of tasks, including playing music, making phone calls, and directing navigation. In contrast to today's rapidly expanding luxury EV market, which now includes the Audi e-tron, the Genesis GV60, and the Cadillac Lyric, one of the most recent electric luxury SUVs, the I-PACE had very few competitors when it first went on sale. It has a range of 246 miles, according to the EPA, when it has 20-inch wheels, but that number drops to 217 miles when you get the optional 22-inch wheels. The I-PACE, on the other hand, went 262 miles in a real-world range test. Even though this Jag is a stalwart in the luxury electric vehicle market, most measures show that it is quite quick. The I-PACE's ability to have fun and be engaged behind the wheel is the primary reason to purchase it over any of its more recent rivals. Even on a drive that lasted all day, we found the seats to be comfortable and supportive, despite not being able to adjust in every way we could have hoped. The adaptive air suspension of the I-PACE has a sporty, slightly firm feel, but it manages to take away enough of the edge from most larger road bumps that we have no real complaints. The climate control system, which is both ineffective and difficult to adjust, is the only real drawback. Our discerning derriers were not impressed by the heat or ventilation functions of the front seats. We are fairly confident that most people will be able to find a comfortable driving position, although the I-PACE does not offer quite the range of seat adjustments that its contemporary counterparts do. Find savings on the I-PACE for sale near you. The current system impressed us with its stability and responsiveness. Apple CarPlay smartphone projection occasionally failed to activate, but Jaguar was not the only manufacturer to experience this. Since only the highest end house trim is currently available, the Jaguar's Meridian audio system is standard, but it is a good system that produces rich sound. The lane keeping assistance was prone to following cars ahead that were changing lanes or following the wrong lines, and the system sometimes acted a little late. Even though the I-PACE is a little bit smaller than the typical mid-size electric SUV, it still provides a substantial amount of everyday utility. With easy to access seat anchors, the back seat is compatible with most child safety seats, and there is enough storage space in the cabin for loose items. However, the 40-20-40 split rear seats fold flat to provide a lot of space, and the compartment is unusually deep. 
Although the iPACE does have a trunk in the front, it only holds the portable charger and has less than a cubic foot of space. The EPA estimates that the iPACE house has a range of 222 miles and uses 45 kilowatt hour per 100 miles, making it one of the least energy efficient electric vehicles currently available for purchase. For context, the Tesla Model X long range is rated 33 kilowatt hour slash 100 miles which is significantly higher than the Jaguar's 39 kilowatt hour slash 100 miles, and the BMW 9 on 22 inch wheels is even more efficient. Thankfully, the iPACE was a little less power hungry in real life. We drove 262 miles on a single charge on the real world EV range loop using 36.3 kilowatt hour slash 100 miles less energy. That is significantly more competitive. Jaguar estimates that the iPACE's 11 kilowatts onboard charger can increase top speed by as much as 33 miles per hour. Additionally, it has DC fast charging capability up to 100 kilowatts, which is slower than the majority of its rivals. It has decent bumper to bumper coverage for 5 years, 60,000 miles, powertrain coverage and roadside assistance, and battery coverage for 8 years, 100,000 miles. In addition, Jaguar offers free maintenance for the duration of the bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, so you won't need to do much other than check the tires and wiper blades. When we drove the iPACE for the first time, it surprised us, and it is just as fun to drive as the competition of today. We like it a little, but we're also excited to see what Jaguar does next. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.